He's right about possible parliamentary opposition to any law change. Maria Caulfield is the Conservative MP for Lewis and Sussex and a cancer nurse. She believes that the time limit for abortions should be reduced from 24 weeks. Uh, let's just begin, if I may, with the question of decriminalisation. Why should it still be a criminal offence to have an abortion without doctor's consent? Well, that's not actually how the, the current law stands. It is an offence for those who procure abortion. So what that means is the person carrying out the abortion uh, is at risk of prosecution. So if a woman carried out an abortion on herself, um, she would be at risk of, of prosecution. But if you look at the actual law... Well, ha um, the women been have actually... been sentenced, though, haven't they? I mean, there's a couple of cases. Well, I mean, if you looking look at, at the, Natalie you Towers look... and Sarah Catt. I mean, they were both... Well, if you look at the last couple of years, or the last few years, there have been virtually no prosecutions at all. And the, in the last two years, there have been two and one of which was a prosecution of a man who uh, violently attacked his partner and she uh, aborted her baby as a result. And he was prosecuted, and, and rightly so. So the law, as it stands, actually does protect vulnerable women in particular. And, and our big concern, if this law was to, to change and decriminalise abortion, actually very vulnerable women would well, then be at risk. But very vulnerable women have been prosecuted. I, you know, I give you the case of Natalie Towers in 2015. She was sentenced at Newcastle Crown Court to two and a half years in prison for procuring her own uh, miscarriage. She'd bought um, the uh, abortion drugs online. Oh, absolutely, and that is uh, as the law stands. If you, uh, can, you know, carry out an abortion on yourself um, uh, and don't follow the current law, then you are at risk of that. But the f most but should women that be in the case? Country, this was a very vulnerable most... woman. She was depressed at the time, emotionally unstable. Should she be sent to prison for seeking her well, own most abortion? Most women in this country do do not follow that path. There, there, there is a, a clear, accessible path and a safe path to abortion that the vast majority uh, of women access. And you know, in my two years of being an MP, while I've had many, many people come and see me about welfare rights, housing, uh, lots and lots of issues. I've not had one person come through my surgery doors to say they couldn't access uh, abortion. And so, you know, we really, really feel that this case about decriminalising abortion has a wider agenda. And really, it's about liberalising abortion and having abortion on demand uh, uh, across, across the board. Well, um, that's something which David Steele is also calling for. He is saying that there should be abortion under, on demand for under 13 weeks. He says that because his law is out of date at that time, medical abortions, abortions where you just take um, two pills, weren't available. Yeah, I, and you know that that is right. That the uh, medicine has changed, and now you can uh, take a pill uh, for early pregnancies uh, to induce an abortion. But that doesn't mean that's a risk-free procedure. And what upsets me as a, a healthcare professional is this idea that taking a pill is easy, that women can't be still forced into pregnancy, and actually it increases that risk. If you can just buy tablets online to take those women, and you heard from Vicky um, in in your uh, discussion earlier you know, the pressure to, to have an abortion. And if you haven't got those safeguards in place, that space and time to discuss your situation with a, a doctor or another healthcare professional, then I'm really, really but concerned on, about vulnerable women. On, on the question of health taking... risks, though, aren't the risks much more on continuing with the pregnancy and having childbirth than having an abortion? No, not at all. I mean, if people are saying that you just take a pill and all, all will be well, you know, there's still risks uh, by taking a pill. Women can become unwell after having a, a, an abortion and taking tablets. Women can uh, be at increased risk of infection, and if those infections are severe, can be at risk of infertility. You know, this isn't just an easy, uh, uh, quick fix solution. And in no other circumstances do our prescribed medication for other conditions um, just given out without seeing a, a qualified medical professional Maria. and so you know it's not as easy as just dispensing medication. Maria Caulfield thank you for talking to us.